Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back. So, Scorpio, this is going to be your mid-month October reading. Just a quick check-in to see what the energies are for you and what the rest of the month is looking like. So, let's go ahead and get started. If you're new to me, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Don't forget to hit the like and share and subscribe. And let's see what you got going on. So, Scorpio, overall energy is this uh, energy of Jupiter, uh, which talks about expansion, okay? And so I feel that um, this is all about taking that leap, exploring new opportunities, having new opportunities presented to you, uh, maybe to expand on what you do or um, take what you do to the next step. Um, it's about generosity, your beliefs, luck, seeking, travel, um, that all might be appealing to you during this time frame or something you're looking to get out and do. I feel like it's kind of this energy of wanting to get out more, um, if you've been kind of closed off or maybe not like really feeling like social environments or, you know, um, like kind of crawling out from underneath that energy here. Um, so I, I actually like that for you, Scorpio. It's all about taking that chance as well, you know? Um, it's really, uh, an energy about tapping into the more, like, rebel side of Scorpio. All Scorpios have, like, a little rebel in them, and <laughs> I feel like that's kind of what you're going to be tapping into, okay? So... Let's go a little bit further into it, shall we, Scorpio? Yeesh. Okay, so Scorpio, recent past energy, present energy, three of swords here. Okay, so some of you definitely have, you know, been through some heartache or, you know, have had disappointments or on an internal level are still feeling that to some degree or another. I feel like you're really wanting to push past that during this time frame, okay? Because I feel that you are ready to expand. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the Six of Wands, this is all about getting attention, putting yourself out there. Um, you know, this is kind of like a look at me vibe, Scorpio. <laughs> you know, so you might be like, um, you know, kind of. Like I said, putting yourself out there or like wanting attention, um, getting attention, um, you know, and I feel like also the Six of Wands is kind of like, um, you know, with minimal effort, honestly. So you might have um, attention being received from people, you know, and you're not even like really trying. You're just like your Scorpio sexy you know, <laughs> magnetism is like emanating and you're not even trying. Like you're just like, I'm being me. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the sign of Scor Scorpio, you know, has that mysterious like um, sexy vibe to it, right? Like that's the intensity that people are drawn to. But I, and the reason I feel like you're not necessarily trying to put that out there uh, but yet still getting it is because I think internally you're still getting over something or someone else. Um, and that could be, you know, recent or it could be pain from the past, you know. But it's like, all right, um, that's great. Like, hi, cool. But like at the same time, I feel like your focus is more on expanding yourself and expanding your horizons, I think that um, you're looking for um, opportunities to grow self right now, okay? Um, I do see that travel is a possibility during this time frame, especially with expansion paired with the chariot um, for some of you. For others of you, this just speaks of that forward, more, uh, blah, blah, forward momentum, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, too, with the Hierophant here, um, it's all about taking that higher road, following your higher purpose, following your higher calling. And I think that's what, that's what I feel you're interested in. You know what I'm saying? Like tapping into your higher purpose or expanding on that, you know, um, 
I like this for you, Scorpio. I think that a lot of you have been through a lot. Your readings have been very deep. And so I'm happy to see like the progression or the movement out of that um, during this time frame and kind of opening yourself up to new possibilities um, to some degree or another, okay? So let's go a little deep further into it. Don't mind my lighting. I'm like in front of a window and like... <laughs> It, get, it keeps getting like super bright and then super dark and there's nothing I could do about it. So, so what else can Scorpio, what other messages do we have here? I have a song that's really, really loud in my head right now. Um, but I was also listening to it last night, so it's not surprising. So I'm just trying to figure out like if it's part of this message or if it's just in my head because I fell asleep listening to it. I'm going to keep reading and then I'll come back to it if I think it applies. Okay. <laughs> so then you go into the world card and the justice card. Yes. This is completing that cycle. That's completing uh, a chapter in your life where I think you had a really hard time letting go of, um, I heard three different words, regrets, grudges, resentment. One of the three or all of the three for some of you. Um, and I, But I feel like you're moving out of that energy. Okay, at least during these last two weeks of October and things kind of balancing out that balancing out like the karmic scales the you know, um, helping to balance you out internally, because I feel like that's been really difficult uh, in the past or internally. So it's really interesting, though, because. Okay, the song is like getting louder, so I'll tell you what it is in a minute. <laughs> I want to know what the Three of Swords is because the energy is so good. Like, it's so good, you know? Um, and I feel like it's time to roll the dice, you know? Take that leap. Take that chance. Um, and I just, I guess I'm not sure, like, what's going on with the Three of Swords. Yeah, it's like this internal back and forth. I think there's a power struggle going on here. That could be with another person or within yourself. You know what I'm saying? I can't be the only one who's lonely tonight. <laughs> that was the song. It had to come out. Like it was right there at the tip of my tongue. <laughs> it's called uh, Only One, or maybe it's just Only, by NF and Sasha Sloan. It wanted to come through at the beginning of the reading, but like I said, I couldn't tell if it was just because I listened to it recently or because if it was for you. But I feel that. I feel like there's been a struggle going on internally on not wanting to budge, not wanting to give in. Um, to a situation or going back and forth to some degree. It's like an internal struggle here. And that song got so loud. Um, and what she's saying in, in the beginning is, I cannot be the only one who is lonely tonight. And so I feel like, you know, I feel like maybe there's things here that still haunt you from the past. But this during this time frame, Scorpio, I see you moving forward in a big way. And and in the and then taking the higher road. You know what I'm saying? So, if you were getting sucked into conflict in the past or like a competitive nature, I feel like you know, you're just going to let that go during this time frame. And it actually, as soon as you do that, it like shoves the energy forward, right? And then you have some new opportunities here to capitalize on, okay? Big opportunities, I feel. Um, for some of you, this is gonna be in career, 
you know, getting a, a chance to really put yourself out there, get attention here in career or finances. Um, for others of you, it'll be a new commitment coming through. Okay. And excuse my terrible singing earlier. It was a really high note. <laughs> we put we put hate comments in my <laughs> in my uh, comments comment section. All right, so there's another part of the song. That song's pretty new to me, so I don't really know all of the words to it. But there's one part where he gets really angry in the song. I can't remember what he says, but I can hear I can hear it, but for some reason I can't make out the word. That's a good song. Check it out. Um it's my destiny. You won't get the best of me. I think that's what he says there. So yeah, some of you are looking for destiny, you know, not letting people get the best of you. Good for you, Scorpio. Seriously, good for you. Things look really balanced uh, oh, for these next two weeks and I like it. So if you were only interested in your energy and what you're dealing with, that's where your reading ends. Uh, if you're interested in the person you might be um, dealing with, if you're dealing with the person in specific and you want to know what's going on with them, what their hopes, feelings, blah, blah, blah is, then this is where the reading continues. So this person's coming out as the Page of Wands. I think that they're ready for some new adventures for sure. This is also a, somewhat a card of uh, tapping into creativity, looking to travel. So I feel like this person's going through like an expansion as well in their life. Wheel of Fortune here talks about karma, and I kind of got that same, even though this is a different card, I kind of got that same message for you, Scorpio. Um, this is following their fate, destiny, new beginnings. Oh my gosh, the fool here. Like, I feel like this person is kind of mirroring it's to some degree or another what you're going through. Like, they're they're going through expansions. They're um, either wanting to travel or are traveling. Um... There is like uh, an exploration type of vibe here. I feel that, yeah, judgment. It's like the same message for this person. I feel like they're making decisions to start over. Um, you know, this person is has a lot of youthful energy around them. So quite literally, it could mean that this person is younger than you. Um, for others of you, it means that you know, they um, might be like uh, on the negative side, kind of impulsive during this time frame, you know, leaping before they think, speaking before they filter it, you know, <laughs> things like that. Uh, Queen of Swords is out now. So I feel like this person, you know, they mean business, Scorpio, during this time frame, okay? Um, you know, the queen of swords is someone who definitely, you know, doesn't back down from, um, new opportunities, new challenges, uh, uses their brain over their heart. Um, you know, this is also the sign, you know, uh, an air sign. So like this person may be very like communicative, um, and the mood to communicate, make some decisions. I feel like this person fears vulnerability on an emotional level. I don't feel that's where their comfort zone is. At least during this time frame, okay? It's like a two-week reading. Then you have the Empress and then the Nine of Pentacles. And then you have the Queen of Wands come out in this person's energy. So I feel like this person is exuding confidence, uh, sexuality, sensuality, if it's intimate. Uh, this is... The epitome of what would be considered a very independent person, creative person, um, intelligent. Um, like I said, I think that this person is um, softening. It's weird because 
Their energy is soft, yet fiery, yet um, analytical. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this person has multiple layers to their personality. And so, um, in a way, it's it's good as long as it's balanced. And I do feel it'll be balanced during this time frame, but I certainly could see the downside of that, of, <laughs> you know, like, which personality am I getting today, you know? Um, you know, looking in contrast to your cards, I feel that for a few of you, this might be, you might be dealing with more than one person during this time frame. You have one that's a bit, uh, softer, um, I don't know, not really though. <laughs> like, there's one here, that if you're dealing with two people, there's one that is like a go-getter mentality, like, yes, 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 you know? <laughs> um, they don't think really, they don't think it twice, you know, they just, they see it, they want it, they got it, they get it, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this person really is not in the mood to F around during this time frame. Then you have another person here that is a bit softer, but also in a very independent energy. This person might have a temper problem, actually. Or like go back and forth, like uh, like a, I don't want to say bipolar, I'm not diagnosing anybody, but they go back and forth between soft and then fiery, <laughs> and then soft and then fiery. You know, like they, they might be a little moody, I guess, during this time frame. Um, that's if you're dealing with two people, okay? If it's one person, I feel like that one person is embodying all three traits during these next two weeks. And I feel that, um, like I saw that Scorpio, you were getting attention over here, okay? And that it was probably from more than one person. And I feel that, um, you know, I'm seeing like, for those of you who are dealing with more than one person, because I saw multiple people over here, I feel that that's not really where your interest is, you know? Not during this time frame. You're still heartbroken over something or someone else. Although I don't think you're letting the world see that. And um, I feel like there's one person that still has their back turned to you. And so it's like you're getting attention, but it's not like um, from, you know, like you can get all the attention in the world. But if it, if it ain't from the person that you want the attention from, it don't matter, right? And that's like what I'm feeling here for those of you who have multiple people involved here. Um, so the other thing that's interesting is I, I shuffled the deck quite a bit and I got the page of swords at the bottom of the deck three different times. So I do feel that there is like a, somebody's watching someone else or like keeping an eye out, uh, watching social media, things like that. Um, if you don't have social media, this can be asking about this person through other people or gossip or, you know, and I feel like this is interchangeable. So it could be you, could be them, could be both. And I feel like it's being done like on the down low. I feel at night mostly. <laughs> like someone's brain is obsessing at night for sure, but not wanting to communicate. Although I do feel communication is going to come through in November, okay, either from your side or theirs, after a period of waiting. So I didn't mean to go like that far into the future, but I see it here. Um, so I think that whoever you're dealing with, they're going through expansions as well. They, they're exploring a lot of different parts of themselves, um, you know, trying to make decisions about where to put their energy. You're over here you know, expanding your horizons. I see some great opportunities here coming uh, for you, especially in career, but it could be any area of your life. I see opportunities to travel. I feel like you're going to keep it on the up and up. Um, and I see a lot of movement forward. So I love it for you, Scorpio. This was a really great reading and I'm so happy to see that finally. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there. Zodiac signs you might be dealing with. I have the sign of Libra, here, Aquarius, <clears throat> uh, Taurus, 
Aries. Um, Cancer. Capricorn, Pisces. Small possibility of Gemini, Virgo. Yeah. Um, I see fire out too. Aries, Leo, Sag. So, quite a few zodiac signs out. I think this is going to be a busy time for you, Scorpio. I'm wishing you the very best. Those could be placements in your chart or the person's chart you're dealing with. It's a general reading, so not going to be for all of you. Some of you, it'll just be the energy surrounding you. Don't forget to check out my merchandise below. Uh, get you a, a hoodie as it gets into the colder months. Um, also, check out my other social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook. I have another YouTube that I do vlogs on. Check that out. All linked below. Wishing you the best. Love you so much. Till next time. Namaste. Bye.